Good morning guys, we're back here. Welcome to the vlog. This is vlog number 69, and it is Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Thursday, October 3rd, 8.06. So, how's everyone doing? Uh, we missed yesterday. I overslept. Uh, normally, I try to get at work, like, try to be leaving here, go to work by, like, 9.15, 9, 9, 9.15, uh, so I can get there about 9.30ish, uh, which I still beat everyone there a lot of the time, and yesterday I woke up at about 9.15, uh, so vlog was already passed, uh, I had to get ready and get out the door, by the time you shower, you know, get everything else done, make coffee, get dressed, uh, and out the door, I was running late, so I did not get to do much computer work yesterday morning. We're back today, uh, so I hope everyone had a good day yesterday. And I was trying to think, what are we going to talk about today? Um, and I thought maybe talking about a trip to the lake, well, just trips to the lake, uh, would be a fun little story for today. So, living in western North Carolina, uh, where we did, there wasn't a lot to do in the way of, like, places to go, uh, like, there was one movie in, movie theater in the town we're in, uh, no mall, no, like, the park, no crazy this is and that, um, but there's a lot of outdoor stuff to do, there's no indoor stuff, like, in, indoor quote-unquote stuff to do, uh, but there was hiking, and there was lakes nearby, so a lot of the time, <sighs> the family liked to go to the lake, and we ended up uh, we would go, you could swim, uh, you know, do some camping. Uh, we also had a boat that we liked to take out on the lake. Uh, Dad liked to fish. I, I don't mind fishing, but I'm a little too impatient to uh, sit around for... If they're biting good, I'm all right with fishing. Uh, if it's really, really slow, I'm not as good. Anyway, but uh, another thing we did is we would pull tubes on the back of boats. And I love this. Uh, I don't weigh a lot. I weigh like uh, probably one one eighty right now, um, and I weighed a lot less back when we did this. So probably, uh, probably sometime after, oh, man. at the end of high school, uh, you know, mid to the end of high school, I probably weighed one fifty, one sixty, maybe at most. And when you're on the back of a boat, uh, we had two different tubes. We had a round one, and we had a like a triangular one. Uh, and the hardest part is trying to keep the tube on the water. Uh, my dad never went easy on us, uh, pulling, especially not me because I liked it a lot. And because of that, I would do stupid things like, uh, like try to stand up. Uh, I would, I'd try turning around backwards, uh, laying down, acting like I'm taking a nap, uh, stuff like that. That would, uh, more of like, a like half showing off kind of stuff. So then he would try to throw me off. It was always his goal, uh, which is fine, except when you're you hit the water at a high speed, feel good. It hurts a lot, um, a lot, a lot. Uh, so we did that a lot. Uh, but the feeling of feeling your tube coming off the water, because that's when that's when it ends. Uh, if you can keep it flush to the water, you're good for a good while, as long as you don't bottom it out and go too far under. But if you can just keep it adhered to the water, it's good. But when you feel your stuff starting to become airborne, uh, that's when it's going to roll, and it's going to roll and flip you, and it's not going to be good. And uh, besides the tubes, we also had uh, excuse me, a pair of skis that we uh, I tried using. I never can, I never could get water skis to work. Uh, they're a lot harder. There's like a lot of weird, like technical stuff you have to do to get the to get standing on them. Never could do it. We also had a knee board, which is kind of like, I don't know if you know, like, uh, the boogie boards, you could, like, do wakeboarding on, well, not boogie board, like, the wakeboards, throw them out, and you could, like, jump on them and stand. This is, like, a thicker, like, uh, fiberglass version of one of those, and it had, like, a soft pad, and you could put your knees on it, strap yourself in, and you hold on to the, the cord, and it was pretty cool. Uh, however, to use one of these... Um, you have to lay down on it, hold your rein, and then you have to, while moving, climb up, get your knees situated, and strap yourself in 
after you're being pulled um, because you have to have kind of that momentum to hold you on. Uh, and we didn't have the nicest kneeboard, uh, and it would scratch up your arms and legs uh, because the acrylic was just not not very uh, very glossy anymore. It was very scratched and old. Uh, so sometimes you come out like looking very mangled uh, with that board, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, I miss going. I haven't got to go in a long time since we moved out, and everyone's busy and just that and the other. But I enjoy water. I enjoy swimming. I enjoy the lake. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy another little bit of story. Uh, if you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.